Hey guys, it's Angela. Um, I am coming on here to show you a couple things that I picked up yesterday and a card that I made for my friend, but I wanted to send it out because it's her birthday. Well, actually it was her birthday when I was on vacation and I wanted to go ahead and get it sent out. So I figured I'd jump on here real quick and show you a couple things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I went to Michael's too, but some of the stuff I got is just some um, essential things that I needed. Um, besides, I did get a pack of um, some distress markers. I only had, you know, some of the ones that, um, some of the basic colors, and I wanted to get some more, um, you know, some of the brighter colors that I needed. Um, so I did pick up some um, distress markers from Michaels, and I got some more from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got these colors from Hobby Lobby, and I want to get some more. Um, this is the, I'm not sure what number these are, but anyway, this one was already open. I didn't realize it till just now. Anyway, this is the one with the picked raspberry and bright persimmon and mowed lawn. So I got those, and then at Michael's, I got the ones that had um, the worn lipstick and some other um, fired brick and... I know that y'all really care, but tumble glass. I want the one that has the really light color, the light pink one in it, the spun something other, spun sugar, um, because I wanted to color my little piggies from that MFT um, stamp set I just got, but they didn't have any. So anyway, I got that from Hobby Lobby, and I used my 40 off, so that was 10 bucks. But um, um, I went ahead and got one of these snow markers. I wanted one last year, and I didn't pick it up, and then they were sold out. So I grabbed that for $3.99. These were 50% off, so I wanted to get another pack of these, um, or 40%, sorry, the poppies and pa pa papery, or however you say it. Anyway, so I got these for $2.50. I thought these colors were really pretty. Um, and they had the glassing bags, finally, so I grabbed, I haven't been able to find these anywhere. And I think these, I'm not, no, these were not on sale, but for $1.99, I went ahead and grabbed them. And there's, I believe, um... 12 in here. Yeah, 12. Um, and they had their Christmas stuff out. Yes, I know. I shouldn't worry about Christmas right now. But I thought this pad was really pretty. And these were actually, all paper pads were 50% off. And Christmas was 40, the craft stuff, not Paper Studio. But she gave me 40 instead of 50, which I was like, whatever. I didn't feel like arguing over 10%, so 70 cents. So I was like, whatever. I didn't even say anything. Um, anyway, these are so cute, these pat papers. They're very vintage-y looking, so I love that one. The music notes. So there's some blues and whites, and I like that one too. There's some really, really cute ones in here. Um, and they it has, you know, the blue and white as well as the green and red. So I, that's why I like this one so much. So I grabbed it just because it was on sale. If it wasn't on sale, I wouldn't have gotten, got it, obviously. So anyway, those are the few things that I did pick up. Um, this week, the paper pads are 50%, so if anybody's interested. I did have, um, the they have the Webster's pages, the newer ones, the um, the birthday one and the travel one. They have both of those, the paper packs. They are only $5. And they have the fancy pants, the flutter by, and the other new one, the Maddie and Me. They have both of those there as well. So if anybody's interested in those paper packs, those are 50% off this week. Um, and of course, the On Trend and the Say La Vie um, and the Bloom, Maggie Holmes Bloom, those three pads um, too, or it's a good time to get those if you want them. Um, and they had some other really good pads too from um, the new Prima pads are there and the Bloom 12x12 was there. But I just feel like I have so much paper right now, I don't need any more paper. Um, Obviously, I've been buying the Halloween and some new um, Christmas paper, so I definitely don't need any. Um, and I did have, I'm not going to lie, I have the Webster's Pages, the paper the paper pad, or the paper kit, and, and I also had the, um, the Fancy Pants, the Maddie and Me, or whatever it was. I had that one in my cart, too, and I put them both back. I was like, nope, I don't need them. They're only, you know, five bucks a piece, but I don't need them right now, because I, I really have to go through some of my other paper before I start buying more. So anyway, um, I'll just show you the card I made and I haven't put backed it on my cardstock yet, but this is the card I made. I just think it's so cute. Um, let me get that Christmas out of the way so it won't 
Um, so this is the one I made for my friend. Um, I use this stamp set by Avery L. Um, sorry, it's upside down. Uh, put it back in back, upside down, oopsie. It's called Hot Chick. It's so cute. So um, I put it on black because I wanted it to stand out. And I cut it with my um, Gina Marie, um, this Gina Marie scalloped rectangle die. Um, is the large, um, I used the largest one, and then I actually used the smallest one for this, and then I watercolored it with my Distress inks, and, um, this background paper right here is that, um, watercolor paper we got from Joann's that has the pineapples and everything in it, and it's one of the papers that I thought was really pretty, and I thought it, you know, made it look a little bit jazzy, um, and the, I went ahead and, um, emboss the sentiment and I used the pewter no the platinum embossing um, I think that was a, the ranger one if I recall correctly anyway these are little Swarovski crystals that I got from um, Tuesday morning I think a lot of people got them um, anyway I thought it turned out super cute um, the only thing I didn't use on this one is the um, the little sweat beads that you can use that come off of her right here the little sweat thingies. I didn't put that on her. I just thought she looked really cute just without them. So I left those off. So the only thing I have to do is put it on the cardstock. I'm I was contemplating if I should use white cardstock or just use like a colored card cardstock and then inside put, you know, cut another um, you know, square out to, to make it plain. I don't know, I'll see what I'll do and um just write her a little note inside. Anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and show you that before I send it out. All right, well, I hope everybody has a good day. Um, I'm working all weekend, so boo, I'm off vacation. So I'm heading into work now, and then I'll work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I hope everybody has a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later.